Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing industry since last 22 years. Today I'm going to discuss a topic uh, which is a very specialist part of the uh, welding technology that is uh, underwater welding. Let's have some basic understanding about the welding process. Welding, uh, most of you have seen in different uh, domestically or in industry. This basically you need a power source uh, for electrical energy and you will have a ground cable and you will have another cable for electrode and the workpiece which you need to do the welding. And then there is an arc will be generated by the electrode the, uh, to keep the uh, specified gap between you can see between the job and this. The job means that is the work to be welded and the electrode tip. So when there is a gap, there is an arc will be electrical arc will be generated and the metal electrode got melted and it started you know spraying the metal so melted the metal by in terms of drop or different modes and deposited on the area where you want to do the welding. So this is basically welding. It, so this welding is uh, you know, it's easy to do on the, you know this normal environment in the like on, on ground actually you can say. But today I'm going to discuss a different topic, the same welding, how it can be done inside the water actually. The typical welding uh, jobs are like you know the, like ships is a very huge job where the welding uh, operation or activities is uh, involved very much. The general uh, fabrication in Rusty for making machine structures and all these uh, heavy structures, the so welding is needed. And also this uh, pressure vessel in Rusty. So it's a major uh, in Rusty is for uh, wel uh, welding. And I have learned a lot of uh, you know, welding in my one of my previous company when I was uh, working in uh, Germany. Uh, the name of the company was Wilson Mann GmbH. Uh, it is in the South Germany area. I worked there in 2006-07. There I uh, so today I'll uh, share some of the tip of some knowledge on the special area of the welding uh, which I learned there in uh, Wilson Mann GmbH company. Which means basically, you know, metallic balloon expansion giants manufacturing company. So they used to do a lot of uh, special welding on the pipelines, petrochemicals pipelines, or undersea pipelines. So, so it, they, they have got few uh, special welder for doing this underwater welding. So I uh, got the opportunity to learn uh, some of the things which I'm going to share today. And. Uh, at the time also, I was also did this, uh, you know, the qualified as a welding engineer from uh, Poland uh, through Wilsonman GmbH, and later also I did the welding technologist uh, from N N India. So this is a subject which is very much connected to my you know, professional area, this welding technology. Now there are a lot of industrial application where this under what of welding is required, like why you need to do uh, repair the ship. When the ship is moving in, uh, uh, on sea, or maybe you know repair of this uh, submarine, or maybe allow this uh, oil refinery structures which is grouted on the sea, so that needs to be uh, repaired, and maybe new pipeline to be laid for you know oil and some other purpose uh, through the sea actually sea bed. So then this underwater welding requirement is needed. You can see in this picture there's a refinery structures so obviously. And these are offshore structures also, so some welding is needed doing inside the water. Even in onshore uh, project activities like uh, you know, laying of uh, these pipelines inside the uh, sea, so then also some welding is needed uh, for uh, doing inside the water. And special cases as I said in submarine also sometimes if there is a damage on the out outside surface, which is a very dangerous uh, uh, for the functioning, so, so they also proactively they do it the welding uh, inside the water. And in normal ships also, this requirement is always there. But now, this, there are two types of welding in underwater. One is the wet welding, another is the dry welding. Wet welding, you can see in this picture, there is a bare pipe is bare and a welder is exposed. So the, the way is uh, air environment, so this is a water environment. So this is, uh, rest of the process are very uh, similar. Uh, you can see here on this picture, is a uh, well repairing of this, you know, this uh, or refinery structures. This and inside the water, you can see in this picture, people are doing this. Uh, everything is very similar to uh, doing welding on the outside of the water. But uh, there is, uh, you can see in this schematic picture, here when some underwater welding requirement, you know, 
uh, need to do dry welding inside the water, then you have to put some you know, equipment type of things that is split into part that grouted on the actually mounted on the pipe to be welded and then it is airtight still then oil can pumped off from the system then system is equivalent to a dry system uh, you can see in this uh, picture one of the picture this is one of the real equipment yeah, doing this underwater welding dry welding this is actually the you know this modern equipment where you know people uh, can be there inside of this box and if the system is like that if you are doing welding like in a room actually so this is the inside of the underwater dry welding uh, equipment system so in dry welding there are you know these advantages also there are disadvantages also in dry welding is a uh, you know welded is safe but it's a very costly exercise but in uh, you know when wet welding uh, welder is not very safe there is a, every possibility of accident electrical shocks the explosions uh, health hazard and life hazard is there, but equipment cost is very uh, less, so nominal you can see. You can see this underwater wet welding uh, helmet is a very complicated helmet actually. There's a lot of uh, adjustment and uh, instrumentations are there. It's very costly to 5 to 6 lakh cost one uh, cost of the helmet. And so after doing this, so if a person is a good welder, not necessarily he can do welding inside the water. You know? There are a lot of uh, you know, different uh, trainings and learnings are there. Uh, he is uh, one of my uh, friend in my, this uh, uh, Woodson Man company. Uh, he was uh, actually from uh, Sri Lanka. So he was also one of the underwater welder. So this welder first day, you know, be comfortable inside the water. So a lot of diving training is given to the, those uh, special welder. Then they, uh, uh, through, uh, you know, part of the training program, they are qualified and then they are you know, allowed to do welding inside the water. Like, man, like uh, these electrodes are also different for underwater welding and these uh, normal uh, uh, welding electrode, these are uh, totally uh, different uh, specification and category. You can see here in this picture, the welder is doing welding uh, inside the water and this is a test piece actually. They are making some test pieces inside the water, then this test piece will come out and it will be checked in the laboratory to see the quality of the welding. Then this welder will be given this type of a certificate, this under, you know, under water welding certificate. And uh, she was one of the welder in our uh, company, previous company, for doing underwater fabrications. Actually, it's a very specialized area and highly paid job. Actually, and so more than ten times than the normal welder, they are uh, paid during this uh, underwater welding activities. And uh, risk and safety is concerned. Underwater welding is not fully safe. Actually, there is uh, though we were using a lot of uh, safety and protective equipment but there is a possibility of you know electrical shock and uh, explosion and some other uh, complications also even after come out from this uh, say uh, during the welding so in last 10 20 years there are a lot of uh, welding automation has also reached to the inside the seabed you know you can see in this picture there is a, a robo is designed already designed for doing underwater welding and it is also already executed in many jobs it can do this both underwater wet welding and uh, dry welding for, by the robotics. So it, uh, the human don't need to go inside the water for doing this. But it's a very costly exercise definitely. Uh, you can see here in this uh, picture there is uh, equipment is uh, putting down inside the water for doing this underwater welding. So all the rest of the activities can be controlled from the sea, uh, no, sea bed. So I think uh, if you find, uh, you will uh, find this uh, presentation or this topic is very a special area of the world. I hope it's, uh, it was interesting. Thank you very much for your attention.